Hi everyone, my name is Monica Brown and I am a writer and I am a teacher and I am excited to be giving you a little story today. You might feel like sitting down for a moment and listening and luckily I love writing stories for children like you and today I'm going to share a story I wrote about someone who really inspired me and he is a writer. His name is Gabriel Garcia Marquez but those close to him called him Gabito, especially when he was a little boy. And this is the story of one of the most incredible writers that ever lived and wrote. My name is Gabito, me llamo Gabito, illustrated by Raul Colon. I'm gonna ask you a question, children, and it's can you imagine Close your eyes for a minute. Can you imagine a shipwrecked sailor living on air and seaweed for eight days? Can you imagine a trail of yellow butterflies fluttering their wings to songs of love? Can you imagine gold and silver fish swimming in air? we see some of these beautiful things in Raphael's, in Raul's art. Once there was a little boy named Gabito who could. This little boy would become one of the greatest storytellers of all time. Gabito was born in the magical town of Aracata, Aracataca, Colombia. And his imagination was just as big and great and wild as the thickest jungles and highest mountaintops of Colombia. To Gabito, the world was a magical place. He grew up in a little house with his big family and according to his grandmother, a strange and mysterious ghost. Sometimes little Gab Gabito would imagine the ghost lady gliding through his house and rocking the empty rocking chair in the family room, back and forth, back and forth. Gabito never sat in that rocking chair because he didn't want to squish the ghost. Gabito's imagination was big. Gabito also lived with an amazing hundred-year-old talking parrot named Lorenzo the Magnificent. Lorenzo would make up stories of his own, just like Gabito, and sometimes his stories came true. One day, Gabito listened to Lorenzo tell a story about a big angry bull getting loose, and imagine his surprise when a big angry bull ran right through his kitchen. Maybe, thought Gabito. Lorenzo the Magnificent had magical powers. Gabito's imagination was wild. Gabito's favorite person in the whole wide world was his grandfather, Nicolas, who had a giant dictionary filled with many amazing words. And from this dictionary, Gabito learned that magic is not just for witches, that gypsies are wanderers with a taste for adventure, and that words could be big and great and wild too. The more words Gabito learned, the more stories he told. Each day after breakfast, Gabito and his grandfather put on matching scotch plaid hats and walked through the town of Aracataca, holding hands and smelling jasmine flowers. The two of them would walk happily towards the cafe where they met his grandfather's friends for lunch. His grandfather always let him dip his hands straight into the pitcher of water and lift out the cold and crunchy ice cubes. The more people Gabito met, the more stories he told. Sometimes, Gabito and his grandfather walked past the big banana plantation at the edge of town. He saw how hard the people on the banana plantation worked picking fruit. Even to little Gabito, it didn't seem fair that those who worked so hard 
were so poor and this made Gabito sad. He tried to imagine a world where no one was poor and where everyone could sit with their grandfathers under the shade of a tree, holding hands and crunching ice. But the more things Gabito saw, the more stories he told. Under the hot sun, Gabito grew tall. He learned that ghosts were real, that parent, parrots sometimes speak the truth, and that not everything, even in this magical world, is fair. Most importantly, he learned that he loved stories. He loved hearing them, reading them, teaching them, and writing them. He loved creating worlds where the impossible was possible, where dreams were true, and where people could float and fly. The more stories he wrote, the more he wanted to write. When Gabito grew up, he wrote the most exciting stories in the world. His stories were magical and amazing, but just as real as you or me. Can you imagine what kind of stories Gabito told? Close your eyes and see. Close your eyes. Can you imagine a man with enormous wings falling from the sky? Can you? Open your eyes. Close your eyes. Can you imagine the most beautiful woman in the world? Open your eyes. Close your eyes. Can you imagine flying through the air on a magic carpet? You can open your eyes. If these stories sound magical, it is because they are. And they were written by the boy called Gabito, who grew up to be Gabriel Garcia Marquez, the great storyteller, read by millions, loved by all, but Gabito never forgot the parrot and the bull, the jasmine flowers and the banana workers, and the dictionary full of wonderful worlds and words. People on all seven continents read his stories and love them and discover just how magical and big and great and wild the world can be. What magic stories do you have inside, children? You can find out more about Gabito at the end of the book, and we can remember the magical writer full of stories. And right here at the end of the book, there is a beautiful portrait of what Gabriel Garcia Marquez looked like as he was older by the artist Raul Colon. Thank you for listening, and go write down some of your stories and share them with the world.